If you're flying your drone indoors, there's some settings you need to change, which you can catch in a video just here. And there's some cinematic movement transitions that you need to master. So we're gonna get out and go through those right now. Here we are in St Albans on this rainy day where senior pastor, my best friend, Mark Helvagin, has said we can use the facilities at the Vineyard Church. And we have perfect facilities here with this beautiful auditorium. I've got the RC controller set in standard configuration. So just to go through that, the left hand control, if I push it forward, the drone will rise. If I pull it back, it will lower. If I move it to the left, it will rotate left, right, it will rotate, rotate right. And with the right hand stick, if I push it forward, it will move forward. If I pull back, it will move backwards. If I move it to the left, it will slide or dolly to the left. Move it right, it will slide or dolly to the right. And then we have the gimbal control is the wheel on the left hand side. And if I rotate it, right or left, it will tilt the gimbal up and down. And on the right hand side, we have the zoom and that gives another dimension, but we're not going to go into that today, but you can add that in. That gives us 12 different maneuvers we can do here. So I tried to work out the maths on that last night and got very bogged down and confused. So if anyone knows the ultimate amount of combinations we can do, you're a maths genius, please put it in the comments below. In this first section, we're going to go through a handful of maneuvers that are just using one control. The first move is what we call the tripod. We just move this stick forward to rise up. And it's very important to note, I move these sticks very gently and now I can just tilt the gimbal down. I've got a nice view of the room do tripod in the sky and rotate. Now we can do a reverse shot, which is really nice as a kind of a reveal the, the, the scene. All I'm going to do now is gently pull back and reveal the room on the right hand stick. And our next move is to just push in to give first person view. So just on the right hand stick, I'm going to gently push forward. It just gives the impression of someone walking into the room. Next, we're just going to dolly to the right. I'm going to use the right hand stick. I'm just going to very gently slide right. Oh, killed it. To just give a different perspective. In this next move, we're going to go forward and dolly to the side. So it's almost like it's going to move at 45 degrees. So to do this, I have to move the stick at 45 degrees. because It's going to go forward and to the left. So we're just going to gently push up at 45 degrees. In this next section, we're using two sticks for all these moves. For this manoeuvre, we're going to be rising and moving forward. So I'm going to go forward on the right stick and forward on the left stick to create that manoeuvre. And to do that in the opposite, of course, we're going to go backwards on this stick, down on this stick. So for this maneuver, I'm going to rise and rotate. So I'm going to be pushing forward on this, forward on this stick to rise up and push to the left to rotate to the left. So the shot will look like this. For the orbit, which is more advanced, we're going to be turning 
counterclockwise around the tree in the center of the auditorium. So we'll have to be moving the left hand stick to the left so that it keeps turning and rotating slightly to the left. The right stick will have to move to the right so it slides, dollies off to the right hand side and then some slight forward motion to keep it moving forward and not keep going off to the side. So let's just gently do this maneuver. In this next section, we're going to start using the gimbal as well. So for this maneuver, we're going to rise up and gimbal down. So if we're going to pinpoint something like these tables and chairs and people are sitting there, we're going to rise up using the forward movement of the left stick and then we're going to gimbal down by pulling to the left. Our next move is to descend by putting this back and moving the wheel to the right to look up. So with this next maneuver, we're going to move forward and move the gimbal down. Our next maneuver, we're going to move the drone backwards and lift the gimbal up, revealing the whole scene. So I will pull the right stick backwards and move the gimbal wheel to the right. Now we're going to rise up, rotate and gimbal up. So we're going to use this stick to rise up and to rotate and to gimbal up. In this next maneuver that's more advanced, we're going to rotate whilst flying backwards and dollying. So with the right hand stick, we will move to the right and back, so at 45 degrees this way, which is going to dolly to the right and move slightly backwards. Whereas at the same time, we'll move this stick to the right hand side. It'll just rotate to the right and we can follow the balcony. So on this next maneuver, we're going to rise, dolly to the left and look left. So you can imagine someone's walking up the stairs and around the balcony. So we're going to move this stick to the left and we're going to move this stick and forward to push upwards. So to do this in reverse, we're going to pull down on the stick to lower. We're going to be looking to the right. So I'm going to turn to the right. So I'll be putting the stick at 45 degrees here whilst moving backwards by pulling the stick backwards here. I hope you found that useful. Now to find out more about the movements you can do with the DJI Mini 3 Pro, you can check this video out here and please show me the love, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.